welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you have been here before. I am Freya, this is Budgie Budgets and it's Wednesday and on Wednesdays we cash stuff you guys and have a look. <gasps> ah! um, grab yourself a coffee or a tea or a cold drink uh, depending on where you are because um, it's probably going to be a long one today because we have a fair bit of money to put away which is super duper exciting. So we have 51, 52, 53, 20, 40, 60, whoops, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 420. We've gone back to our old faithful calculator, you guys. <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93. 300 there. And then 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 115. So we are stuffing a total of $1,035 today, which is so nice. So nice. I'm very excited. Um, first of all, oh, I forgot my little cards again. I do this every time. Hold on. Okay, first we're going to do our little card game, our little question. I've really been enjoying it when you guys answer it in the comments too. Um, it's just a fun little way to like, yeah, start some conversations, get to know a little bit better. Do you have any Facebook friends that you would not enjoy spending time with? Lol. I mean, um, <laughs> probably, probably most of them. I don't... Um, <laughs> There is a very small subset of people who I enjoy spending time with in real life. Um, I'm, I'm a massive introvert um, and neurospicy, as you know. Um, so, you know, yeah, probably the vast majority of people that I'm friends on, <laughs> on Facebook, <laughs> I, I probably wouldn't really enjoy spending time with in real life. Is that really bad? Um, maybe. doesn't mean that I don't like them. Um, it just means that I prefer to do uh, my own thing with, yeah, the people that I'm, like, closest with, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, is Facebook even a thing anymore? I don't use Facebook much anymore. Um, I only really post, I don't really post at all. I mean, you guys know, I'm shocking on Instagram. I'm terrible on Instagram. I don't, I'm, I don't know, I, I post on my budgie budgets Instagram more than I ever post on my personal Instagram. Um, Instagram is basically where I just look for funny memes to send to my husband. <laughs> That's about it. Really? Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, so yeah, we have a nice big stuffing happening today. It is very, very warm in Victoria today. We're getting heading to a top of 32, apparently our hottest October day in like five years. Um, so that is something else, but then it's going to get freezing. It's going to be like a top of 16 tomorrow or the next day. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. That's what living in Melbourne is all about. Um, subscriptions is getting 20. So that now has 150, 170, 175. That's going to go down by 110 this week because my Microsoft subscription is coming out. Um, yeah. Um, I hope you guys have had a good start to your week. Today is a really good day. My little girl went off to school really happily this morning, which was awesome. So thankful for that. My new laminator is here and ready to go. I'm so... I just feel a lot more together <laughs> today than I have in the last few weeks, which is a very nice feeling. Uh, 120, 140, 150. I did realize though, um, that I was like, gosh, I haven't had like many orders coming in, which like I'm fine with because I'm still catching up on my other orders. Um, but then I realized that, that like nearly everything in my store is out of stock. So I will, <laughs> uh, $50 going into electricity. I will do a restock um, once I have finished all of my outstanding envelope orders and I am getting really close you guys. There's a few there's a few stragglers who ordered later. Um, 
200, 300, 350, 400 now in electricity. Uh, that feels that feels good actually. That feels like a good amount to have in there. So I'm happy with that. Um, yeah. So uh, once I've done that, uh, gas is getting 85. So 50, 60, 70, 85 is going in there. Um, and that will cover us for our bill, which is due in a couple of days. Actually, I better double check that it's not due like today. Well, uh, so 200, 400, 450, 500, 520, 530, 535. Awesome. That's good. That took a bit of, that took a bit of shuffling this time around that one. Um, yeah, so we'll restock things like Christmas binders, $30 going into phones, um, envelopes. I'll see how I'm going with advent calendars. I'm, I'm hoping to restock envelopes. Probably I, I was hoping this month, but it's, that's not going to happen. I think I'll probably restock them in mid November once I've already done all of the advent calendars. And then that way, when you order the processing times will be much faster. You won't be waiting like four or five weeks. I should be able to have like a, you know, at most kind of two week turnaround, depending on how many orders I take on. So, um, yeah, I think that will be better. Uh, so 120, 140, 150, 160. Um, and that's how we're going to do that. I am also feeling the calm because I have um, $10 going to home. I have um, taken a leave of absence from uni again. Lol, whoops. Um, I was talking to them about, like I was just saying, it's a bit much just at the moment. Um, so there's $30 in house now, which is good because I need any clothes error. Um, I need like a bigger one to put outside when it's nice and warm on days like this. And then I don't have to use my dryer. Um, so I was talking to them about withdrawing from the course. Um, and they said, please don't do that. We're happy to give you a second leave of absence if that would be helpful. So they've given me six months, but what we talked about was me coming back into a fast tracked version of the course. So I'll actually start back in like April, um, next year, but I'll still finish it at the same time as I would have finished it if I kept going now. It just means that instead of three hours of classes a week, I'll have like six hours of classes a week. Um, so hopefully that'll be manageable by then. <laughs> we'll make it manageable by then. Uh, so 115 in there in security. Um, and I mean, if I decide it's not at that time, then I can withdraw then. It's not, you know, that's all good. So we'll just see. It just gives me a bit longer to see how Budgie Budgets is going. Um, and yeah, what else I want to do, I suppose. Okay, whoops. Uh, insurance is getting... I've just realized I'm not actually certain that I have the right change for everything. So hopefully I do. Uh, car insurance is getting 30. I think I am going to change... I've, Probably drop this a little bit from next month because I have realized that this is going to give me $1,500 and like that would be our insurance going up by 50% next year, which it just should not do. So 200, 220, 230, 240 in there. Um, so yeah, I'm more than happy to have a bit extra in there, but I don't think I need that much extra. Uh, so I think I can put that down a little bit. Uh, registration is getting 20. Actually, I might put in one of the dodgier 20s because I need, I'll need to unstuff that really soon anyway. Uh, I need to double check when that's due to actually. Okay, so 200, whoops, and 50, 270, 280. All right, and then car service is getting 10. And this is due, they sent me a uh, 210, 215, they sent me a text being like, hey, how's your car going? Must be due for a service. But they can't give me an estimate of how much the service is gonna cost, which sounds like boo -harky. So I'm gonna have to ring them and have a chat with them about that. Um, Cause I understand if there's something wrong that's gonna cost more, but I just wanna know like, if there's nothing wrong, how much that's gonna be. Uh, so 75 in car tires now. Beautiful. Uh, license is getting a 20. We'll put that one in there too, because that's going to be unstuffed too. 
which gives us 230 and we need 235. So after next week, that will be done. And then that needs to be paid in early November for hubby's driver's license. And that is everything for in here. Excellent. I'm just gonna double check that I'm all, yeah, all good. Okay, now this one finally actually getting some love this week. So clothes is getting 40. Be nice if we could keep it in there for longer than a hot second. Shoes is just getting a 10. If I run out of 10s, I'll have to come back in here and swap that out. So there's $40 in shoes now. Um, hair is getting 15. Which is good because, oh my goodness, did I mess up my hair, you guys. I um, <laughs> I did the purple, but it didn't last very well. So then I decided that I would do a color called Silver Storm. 10, 20, and 30 in there. And I mean, they shouldn't have called it Silver Storm as much as they should have called it like blue gray. Um, I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm not a fan. <laughs> so I'm trying to fade it out a little bit. Uh, skincare is also getting 15. Um, yeah, I don't like it. And it's made my roots look really funny. So I need some more bleach. 20 in there. Um, and I think I'll tone it out to a silver. I think that's the plan. Um, Although I do still have copper in the back of my head as well. This is just what happens. This is how indecisive I get, especially with my hair. I have some sort of like <laughs> trauma bond going on with my hair. Uh, 20, 40 and 50 in gifts. It's just, I don't know. I'm just never quite satisfied. Uh, everything else in here is getting sigit for today. But that's good. It feels good to actually get some in there. Um, okay, and then in here, Doctors is getting 10. So that has 200, 220, 230, 240. That feels good to get that back up a little bit, although I'm probably gonna have to steal from there for my skin check. Uh, medications is also getting 10. which is good. My older, uh, my oldest, I only have one, one son. Um, my son has started, I need to do two of those, um, has started using melatonin at bedtime as well. So definitely good that I've got this going on. So $40 in there. Beautiful. Uh, ambulance is not getting anything today. Um, Dental is getting 10. Oops. So 200, 210, 220 in dental now. Uh, specialist getting nothing. Optical is getting 10. Uh, oh, I colored an extra one last time, so I don't need to do anything on that. So $20 in optical now. And skin check is also getting 10. So we need this, by mid-November, I need this to be at $215, I think it is. So 110, 20, 35 uh, to pay for mine. And then we'll have to save up again for hubby's um, updated check as well. 
All right, that's everything in there. Oh, it feels nice to be able to give so many envelopes a bit of love. All right, school expenses is getting 20. I think I'm gonna have to throw a savings challenge into here um, because I'm just not getting it up fast enough for all of the end of term stuff that's coming up. So there's $50 in there now. My son also just broke his laptop mouse. So that's annoying. I'm going to have to go and replace it. Should only be about $15, but still. Uh, uniform is getting skipped. Sport is getting skipped. Swimming is just getting a five. I just want to start building that back up. Because, um, yeah, they'll all need new bathers again. Probably in about six months. They don't last very well. Even the um, um, boot is a new one and I don't have a tracker for it, but it is getting a five today. The tracker is on the way. Uh, school books is getting 20. Does anyone else find, like I got the, um, I got our, for my youngest, our like school fees for next year and school book list and stuff. It's got 120, 40, 160 in there now. Um, and it's got her book list, but it's all, there's a lot of stuff on it that I bought for this year and I just don't understand where it goes. Um, so like, you know, a ruler, a sharpener, a pair of scissors, a full set of colored pencils, like surely all of these things last more than 12 months, don't they? Like I, when I was a kid, when I was at school, I had like the same ruler from prep to grade six. Like it wasn't like, I did not get a new ruler every year. I don't know. What do they do? Because they keep them all at the school. What do they do with them? Like, if you're a teacher, let me know. What happens to them? Do they get thrown out? Like, I definitely understand that sometimes things break. And I'm sure there are there is a certain amount of them that need to be replaced. But I cannot imagine. Like, my daughter's school has a situation where they... So, they organize book packs through a third-party company that deliver them straight to the school. And, like, it's my preference not to use them because I can get everything like at least 10%, if not more, cheaper if I buy it myself and then send it to school with her. But they keep it all at school. And then at the end of the year, nothing comes back home. So like for last year, I bought her all of that stuff, like, you know, textures, pencils, sharpener, ruler, scissors, pencil case, everything. Nothing came back home. So like, I just, I don't get, I don't get that system. I don't get what happens to it. And it feels like there must be a lot of wastage going on. Um, 20, 30, 45, which, you know, sucks on account of my budget, but also just, you know, environmentally, like what is happening? Cause it's all stuff that's like, like a lot of it is stuff that's made of plastic. Um, I don't understand why it isn't being reused more. Anyway, there's my rant. Thank you for enjoying <laughs> Hope you enjoyed um but yeah it just frustrates me um fifty dollars going into school laptop and i'm pretty sure that means we can color in two because we had 30 in there from last time so we now have in here 1000 1050 1100 1120 oh we're getting there you guys this one has been a marathon but we are we are getting there and school holidays is getting 20 and I probably really should have cleaned off this tracker and started again. But anyway, um, yeah, it's also occurring to me that I'm going to need a lot more in here. Although maybe some of this I will take out of Christmas money. I'm not sure. Oh, can't pick it up. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, okay. And that is everything for in here which is nice. Schooling is expensive. Like I just, and I'm not sure what I'm paying for anymore. <laughs> like, um, there are so many teacher shortages. Like my daughter, my oldest daughter today has um, a replacement teacher for every single class. And as of next year, she's in year 10. Um, was that right? Yeah, $30 going into that. Um, if they, if the teacher calls in sick, they can't get a replacement. They just send the, they just tell the kids to have the, their lesson off and send them home early or tell them to come in late um, if it's at the start or at the end of the day which just I can't remember how many of those are colored in oh dear um, it just seems mental to me 
um, so 200, 250, 300 in vet, um, and like no shade on the teachers, no shade on teachers like ever because it's an immensely difficult job and it's incredibly underpaid. Um, but I mean, something needs to be done to incentivize people to um, want to be at work. And I don't blame them for not being at work. Like the stories my kids tell me about kids in their class and the way that they behave. Jeez, I'd be calling in sick too. Um, but yeah, I just don't, I don't know. I don't know what's happening to our world at the moment. Like my youngest, she's had a few issues with a few different boys in her year level. And like, I'm talking like, direct violence to her one of the little boys threatened I said to her that when he's a little bit older he's going to break into her house while she's sleeping and then later that same day grabbed her around the throat uh just like what and so I was talking to her teacher about not wanting these specific boys in her class next year um and the, the teacher said to me it's such a complicated year level it's probably a case of better the devil you know and I was like are you are you joking? Like, are you actually kidding me? Like, you are telling me that that kind of experience is, like, the best outcome? Like, I don't... I just don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. Um, but it's terrifying. Like, I'm looking at it going, like, well, geez, if that's, you know, better the devil you know, maybe better the homeschool you know. Like, <laughs> it just... I just can't quite wrap my head around it, you guys. I don't understand. I don't understand what's happening. I just don't feel like it used to be this bad. Uh, and maybe I'm wrong. But, um, yeah, it just feels like something else at the moment. $40 going to family funds. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80. And that feels awesome to boost that up a little bit. So that we have plenty of money to go and do something fun all together. Uh, that's the girls' bunk bed. Not getting anything today. Beauty's not getting anything. But nails is getting 30. So that was my spending money that I kept aside. Um, out of the... Like I would normally do it as a digital. But I am putting it aside for my nails. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And... 30. Having said that, I'm in a pickle, you guys, because they're already so grown out and it's only been two weeks. So they're certainly not going to last four weeks, um, which may make it a little bit too expensive to continue with, uh, which will suck because I do enjoy having them on. Um, they just make me feel a little bit more put together, especially <laughs> having one of those one of those days, which has been pretty frequently of late. Um, okay, so Halloween is getting 10. We're still undecided what we're doing for Halloween, if we're doing anything at all. My son is going trick-or-treating with his friends. So he's going to go straight to a friend's house after school. Um, but he already has his costume. He has a giant inflatable dinosaur costume. <laughs> but he wore a book week last year. So um, that'll be funny. So 35 in Halloween. I think if we don't use this, um, whatever's left, I will just pop into Christmas. Um, just to boost that up. Uh, Valentine's Day is also getting 10. Which is nice. We don't actually usually save anything for Valentine's Day. So it'll be nice to just have a little bit so we can do like a nice dinner or I don't know, something. We don't really usually do anything at all. Um, 25 in there now. Um, yeah, for Halloween, I think the rest of us don't have plans as yet. So we might just, I don't know, see if we can find somewhere to go have a little walk around. Like there are a few streets around us that where all of the houses go all out. Uh, 25 in Easter as well now. Um, which kind of makes it fun to like walk down the street and see all the other kids that are dressed up and um, all that sort of thing. Mother's Day is just getting a 10 as well. So $20 in there now. And Father's Day also getting a 10. I'll have to give this a 15 at some point to make up that extra five. 
And that one's got a 15 in it. Beautiful. Now, uh, Christmas, I might... What am I going to do with Christmas? Um, I think I might do that in my savings challenge video. Um, yeah, I think I will. So we will keep on keeping on through here. And lots of things in here are getting some more love today. Uh, so five in here. What are we up to? Purple. Oh, my oldest. So she has 210 now. And then my littlest has 115 and that one's up to a pink. Get in there. And then five in this one as well. Maybe we'll give him the other old fashioned five. And um, what are we up to here? Uh, blue. Everybody's different. Excellent. 45 in his now. And then the husband is getting 40. <clears throat> so he now has 20, 40, 60, 80. And where's my so five, ten, beautiful. So we're playing catch up because his birthday. Whoops, I'll pop that. Oh, no, I'll need it still. Um, his birthday's in December, so. I just want to boost that up a bit because he has found something that he wants and I want to make sure I can get it for him. Um, let's see, just 10 going into mine. My birthday is not till Feb, so we've got a little bit longer. So we've got $50 in there now. Um, and then everything in here getting some love today. Party is getting a 10 as well. So that has 30 now. Feels so nice to be a bit prepared. Uh, birthdays, no, birthdays is being skipped, but anniversary is getting a 20 because that is coming up soon too. Beautiful. 20, 40, and 50. We did already book our concert tickets to see Hosier. That's happening in November. It's so soon, you guys. I'm really excited. Um, so for our anniversary, we'll probably do something smaller. Uh, 40th, we're not actually saving for in here, but I am going to start, you guys. I am going to start saving for the kids' 18th. So as I said, I spoke to them about that extra... Um, pocket money and we all decided together that it would go in here instead so that can go towards a party for them it can go towards a car it can go towards a house deposit literally just whatever they whatever they want if there's any big present that they want or whatever um, that's what that will be for so I think we're all pretty happy with that. Okay, so now let's find out, whoops, what we have left. And that should be for Christmas and savings challenges. So we have 50, 20, 30, 40, 50, well, don't do that. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. So, oh my God, I why, what did I just do? You guys, let's try that again. So 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 
180, which sounds about right. Although I think maybe I'm $5 out somewhere, uh, but that's okay. Cause what was I gonna do? I think a hundred towards Christmas. Oh no, that's right. hundred towards Christmas and 80 towards savings challenges. So I will save that for Friday's video. You can tune in then. We will stuff the Christmas binder and play some savings games, you guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. If you have not already hit the subscribe button, go on ahead and hit it. Cause when we get to 750, I will throw some more freebies down below for you. Uh, and when we get to a thousand, we'll do a massive giveaway. Um, because obviously then YouTube is monetized for me and that would be just the most exciting thing maybe ever. Um, so <laughs> thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a brilliant rest of the week. I hope the weather is being kind to you wherever you are and, uh, look after yourselves. I will see you on Friday. Okay. I love you. Bye-bye.